If you are a Salesforce developer appearing for the Salesforce interview, these questions can be really helpful to you. Let's move to the first question that we have a permission set assigned to user which has the delete access to account. But we want to remove the delete access for the account without updating or removing the permission sets. How can we do it? So now to answer this question, what I have done is I have logged in as Salesforce in 5 minutes in Chrome and in Edge I am logged in as Raju Srivastav user. Okay. Now this Raju Srivastav user has this profile which has no access to the account at all. If you can see there is no read, create, edit, delete, no access at all. So all the access that Raju Srivastav is getting to the account is using the permission set named as delete actions permission sets. So if you see it has read, create, edit, delete all the accesses to the permission sets but all the access to the account but it is getting using the permission sets and this permission sets I have added to added it to a permission set group which is named as my new sets. So basically Raju Srivastava user is getting all the access to the account using permission sets. Now if you can see we will be able to let's say I am going to add test. I am able to edit the, edit the account as per as the need. The reason is because I have access using the permission set. But what if I want to stop the deletion? If I want to stop the deletion, how can I do it without updating the permission sets? Now to answer these questions, we can. I have created a permission set group as I already told you. Okay, inside this permission set group, I have assigned this delete access access permission sets. So I'll just show you. And with the help of this only, Raju Shivastu user is getting all the accesses to the account. That is read, create, edit, and delete. So if you can see. There's a delete access permission set that I just showed you, which has all the access to account, right? Create, edit, delete all the accesses to the account. Now, in order to remove that access, in order to remove the delete access without updating the permission sets, we can use muting permission sets in group. So if I go to this, I have created a new permission, muting permission. Okay. Inside this muting permission, what I have done is basically I have muted the, if I go to the object settings right now and to the accounts. What basically I have done is I have muted the permission for deletion. Okay, so what I have done is it has read, create, and edit. For for the delete, what I have done is I have muted the permission. So now Raju Srivastava will be able to read, create, edit, do everything, but he won't be able to delete the record because I have created a muting permission sets and I have muted the permission set to delete. So if he goes and if he tries to delete the record, if he wants. He will get an error that there is a problem you cannot just basically you cannot delete the record the reason is because i removed the access using the muting permission set so if you see from permission set i gave the access but i can take away the access using muting permission set or we can say mute the permissions using the muting permission sets so the answer to this question is you can use muting permission sets basically to remove the access or to mute the access let's move on to the next question that if any user has no role at all is he able to view the data of CEO or not? Now again, Raju Srivastu user has no role at all. Okay, he has no role at all. And Salesforce in 5 minutes user has a role as CEO. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the OWD of the account as private. Let's click on save. Now it was public read right. I'm going to change it to private. Now if I take to Raju Srivastu. This is Raju Shivasti user. If you see, he has no role at all. On the other hand, my Salesforce in five minutes user has a role. Okay. So let's see whether the record that has been owned by Salesforce in five minutes, that is nothing but CEO, is it visible to the person who has no role at all? And the OWD of the account is, I think so, it is private, right? Yeah, it is private. So let's see whether he is able to do it or not. Now if you see, I have read access to it, but let's say, what if I try to edit this account? Will I be able to? So it's saying, oops, you don't have necessary access. Even though from permission sets, I have access, but the OWD has kept as private and he has no role at all. That's why he's not able to edit the record. But if you see, he's able to view the record at least. So if he has no role at all, still he will be at least able to view the records of the CEO. Okay, so this is the reason why role is very much important. If any user has no role at all, is he able to view the data of CEO? Answer is yes, he is able to, even though OWD is kept as private. Let's move on to the next question is that can we configure the login hours using the role hierarchy? So,
clarity key. We can specify the record level access, but we cannot specify what to do. Like object level access, we cannot provide it using a role hierarchy. That's the reason why we cannot configure the login hours using the role hierarchy. So this was all about the interview questions that I've discussed in the previous shot. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.